I'm back. And sure enough, this was a complete waste of time. Okay. So now, yeah. Um, now's the ocean. So best way to go about things uh, for now is probably to go back. I get the uh, pick up the leather jacket. Like I was saying in the guide. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know when I was thinking that two thousand dollar chest was, but it certainly isn't coming up soon here. But I'm probably just gonna plow through this time and see if it can be acquired. And this is basically a gigantic grinding area once you have the axe. But no one wants to see grinding, so I'm just killing the hell out of everything here. Uh, plan is to buy the best and the plan is still getting the trouble. Plus, at this point, it really wouldn't hurt to go back for that free heal to make up for that med kit that I wasted for no reason. Thankfully, it was only one of the $25 ones. Or, wait a minute. I wasted one of the $50 ones. That's the first That's right. Just kind of assuming the crappier ones were on top. straight for the next boss, but the problem is I don't know how much damage the heavy grenade does. I only have one of them. So I do like to a little bit of defense going to be able to afford to fight them. They become regular anyway, but at this point they got to the castle. Tabert, the $700 one, I think that's the one for $15. It's basically another 
400 bucks to be able to get those those three defense points. Not worthwhile. Actually, it might be 16. I think it goes up by increments of four. Save that grenade if it winds up being unnecessary. Let's see. Now, obviously, there's little to no context for what the hell I'm talking about. So, since I'm waiting for the health to come back, well, I explained the part where you cross the ocean. I explained the part where you have to go storm the house and everything. I'm gonna be coming back here because storming that castle will not go well. Any, well, I think. It's it takes several attempts to actually be able to do it. And I don't mean like the effort isn't there or the stats aren't there. I just mean you actually can't do it for a few times. Like stuff happens every single time. And unlike the guy said, that's not actually the case. back there. Well, relatively speaking. It's not terribly long. I mean, when I remember playing this as a kid the first time, I remember this like, distance of being insane. Looking back, it's really not that bad. The pretty short areas, the hidden stuff was pretty easy to find. And I don't mean easy to find like the actual find every single time without even trying like the Skyrim logic. I just mean, in general, if you try a little bit, it's there. Like, you have to put in the effort, but it's not like it's going to take you hours upon hours to figure out the secret thing. Which I appreciate. Like I said, simple little RPG. And it looks like he has a gray sweater on. Like in the intro, they show him with kind of the like, shoulder pad and chest armor kind of thing. Sprite just looks like he has a gray sweatshirt on or something. Which is fine, considering how much stuff, how much time he spends jogging. I don't know about the sound. for me. But they start giving absurd amounts of money. Like they're given 22 each before they were giving about 10 to 12. You head directly north. And I remember the secret cave being on the left. It will save a ton of money moving forward. Because you do start needing. Hmm. I guess this 
It's pretty much unavoidable. This is because you're a resident of Sandy. They've all got problems and all things going on. These guys are tough. Tougher because of that higher defense. why you save up for the axe. Like, there, there's no point in wasting money on anything else in between. Just go directly from longbow to axe. Yep, so here's the secret entrance. And the secret cave about it. Usually that's going to be needed when you get to about three times this amount of health. Like, once you get to about 1500, you're good to start using those. And until then, it's kind of a waste. Also, my phone's going off, and... I apologize for the noise. Jellyfish. And I was assuming he was kind of like an octopus or something. He didn't, he didn't get the things. Interestingly, I'm gonna look at the whole thing I mentioned on their stats having particular roles from last time. I don't think that applies to the ocean. Because they're pretty well more or less the same here. Gotten out of bounds. Should not be able to do that. Yeah, unfortunately, not too much to say about the ocean. It's a lot of this. Basically, one giant maze for the world. And unfortunately, you do need to pass through it at least four times. So, that part I don't appreciate, but almost up there. Eventually, be there. And more 
or less kill the entire ocean. tracks by the way. By and large named after their areas. The other two are pretty obvious. But uh, yeah. Gotta, uh, gotta love the music here. The organ kicks in. It doesn't tell you here that there's really anything you can do. It's kind of supposed to just work it out but never figured that out as a kid. Had to, had to consult a walkthrough. So here's the leader guy we never talked to. So yeah, they tortured him every day. He's been gone for like an hour. But whatever. Yeah, somehow they're putting, for some reason they're putting together an army to go attack like six people over there that can barely fight back against, you know, the wildlife. That'll become relevant later. Actually, I don't think plot-wise it should have happened just yet. We'll ignore that. Because clearly you aren't supposed to be able to see it from here. But I want to double-check when I actually get to that place from the other side of the door. So here's the next boss fight. Against two regular enemies, believe it or not. <laughs> so that's a bit ridiculous right there. And their defense is crap, but their health is absurdly high, their attack is absurdly high, and there's two of them, so you're basically doing that.
So they turn into little puddles of goop. And he said to sound like you're going to the toilet and shove this crystal up the hole. So, yep, nothing happened. So like a sensible person, you now leave and go these several miles or whatever back to your village. I hope you like backtracking. Um, I was already done, so I'm just going to cut it. 